Hey, folks, don't you weep, don't you bawl. Today we're working drywall. <laughs> right, all? You have to forgive Tim. His sense of humor is a little off the drywall. <laughs> Today we're going to show you how to tape the joints of your wallboard together. That's right. Taping technique is critical. An inferior job can result in unsightly lumps and bulges. <laughs> kind of makes you wonder who taped up Al. <laughs> well, there are many mechanical tools used in drywalling. I like to use the Binford 6100 wet tape banjo. With the wet tape banjo, you can apply your tape and your mixture in one swipe as well as doing a good rendition of Susanna. Oh, Susanna, oh, don't you cry for me. As you can see, came from Alabama with a banjo one man. I've loaded my banjo with quality pre-mixed compound available at any hardware store. You don't have to buy it pre-mixed. You can mix it yourself if you want. Three parts calcium carbonate, two parts mica, little Galeanos, little vodka, you got a Harvey dry wall bank. Well, as I'm sure Tim realizes, if you are going to mix your own compound, you have to be exactly sure of its consistency. I'll put my banjo up against anybody's. Would that be a challenge, Tim? <laughs> Get ready to duel, fool. Klaus? for one thing. I was staring at it a little while yesterday. A little while? Eight hours, all right. <laughs> what it needs is an original 33 hood ornament. I'm waiting for this guy to call. Yo, it could be it. Keep waxing. Deke. Oh, hi, Ashley. No, Brad's not here. He's out buying a big gift. Dad, why did you tell her that? Because I'm waiting for an emergency call for a hood ornament. I want to keep the lines clear. Oh. So now I have to buy Ashley a present. No, now I have to buy Ashley a big present. Beyond belief. Well, hi. Good day at work? Tim, I feel like I'm about to explode. Oh, uh, don't do it in here. We just waxed. <laughs> Remember I told you about that big meeting I had with my boss today? I, mean, I was expecting a raise and a promotion. She laid me off. What? Yeah. I got two weeks severance pay and a farewell cake. Like a cake is going to make me feel better. Whoa, did you bring the cake home? <laughs> did it have nuts on it? 
for your information, it was a triple chocolate fudge, and I was so depressed that I polished the rest of it off in the car on the way home. <laughs> now, I need a little sensitivity and a thigh master. <laughs> well, you came to the house with sensitivity, right, guys? Is this going to affect my allowance? <laughs> it will now. Stay off the phone. Tell me what happened. I mean, business bad down there? The, did they lay everybody off? Oh, no, no, just me. Didn't lay off Becky. The pretty one? Yeah. Yeah, the pretty one. The one with a Harvard degree and a pair of PH double Ds. Yeah, bright girl, yeah. Thanks. Joe, so, come on. Come on, come on. I'm sorry about your job. I know what it meant to you. I really do. Hey, you want a shoulder to cry in? Pick one. I gave them two years of my life. <laughs> two years of total dedication. Yeah. The writers, the editors, they all said that they liked me the best. Yeah. I had such a nice day. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tim, I was talking oh. to you. Hold on a second. Maybe when the kids got in an accident. I thought, I thought that they were all home. Hold on a minute. Well, most of the accidents take place in the home. <laughs> hey, hey, Deke, what are you doing? Ah, okay, hold on a second. Thank God the kids are okay. <laughs> yes! Well, all right. Okay, you call me anytime, day or night. I'm here. Thank you, buddy. Thanks, bye. Great news. Deke thinks he knows a guy that knows a guy that can get my hood on. Yay, Deke. <laughs> Deke's a great guy. He's got connections everywhere. Maybe he knows a guy who knows a guy who can find me a job. <laughs> well, I think we shouldn't bother him because right now he's looking for a hood ornament for me. <laughs> so, how you holding up? Oh, okay, I guess. I don't know. You ever wake up in the morning and feel like you just don't have a clue? <laughs> Every day. Oh, wait, that's not normal? You want some orange juice? Yeah, yeah, I'd love some. I stayed up half the night trying to figure out what I should do now, what I should do, what should I do, what should I do. You know, the magazine business here is so tough, and I don't even know if I really even want to do that anymore. So you know what I've been thinking? It's really a stupid idea. Well, it may not be that stupid. I mean, people my age have done it. Not that much, but it's not that it's impossible. I mean, there's a lot to be said for it, and there's a lot to be said against it, too. What do you think? Well, uh... 50-50 on it myself. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? Oh, when I was in school, I really liked psychology. I thought that I might make a good therapist. Huh. As someone who's been in therapy forever, I think you'd be great. And I blame my mother. <laughs> I'm thinking about going back to school to get my master's. You know, then I could be a family counselor. You would be a natural working with families. Well... After surviving this one, I should get a Purple Heart. <laughs> Hi, Brad. Hey, Mom. What's this? Uh, it's a college catalog with watermelon seeds all over it. <laughs> Checking out colleges. Oh, aren't I a little young? <laughs> it's for me. Well, then aren't you way old? <laughs> I'm never going to get my allowance back, am I? It's not looking good. Hey, Brad. Hi, hon. Oh, hi, hey. Dad. I'm glad you're home. You sound like you're in a better mood. Oh, yeah. I had a great day. What'd you do? Sit in bed all day, stuck your face, talk to your girlfriends on the phone? <laughs> is that what you think my idea of a great day is? Sorry. That's my idea of a great day. Wait till you hear what I'm thinking about doing. I want to go back to college. Are you going to stay here at the dorm? I'm thinking about going back and getting my master's in psychology. Of course, I'd have to take some undergrad courses first, but what do you think? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Jill, a master's degree will take forever. It's okay. I like school. Do you remember school? 
Homework, detention, being suspended, sitting in the corner. Tim, they don't do that in college. Oh, yeah? <laughs> How much is this going to cost? How much did the hot rod cost? How much? Cost is not the issue here. <laughs> Tim, this is something that I want to do. Well, why psychology? I thought you liked journalism. Don't you like being a researcher? Oh, well, I did. But now I want to move in a new direction. I feel like I'm going through a major life change. The facial hair thing? <laughs> no, Tim. Oh, thank goodness for that. Do you remember when you quit being a salesman to do tool time? It was important to you, and I was very supportive. Do you remember that? Well, I'd support you, too, if you're doing something that made sense to me. Why don't you go to a trade school? Trade school? Six months, you'll be a turret lathe operator. I don't want to be a turret lathe operator. I don't even know what a turret lathe operator is. That's why you go to the school. How about a certified arc welder? Are you insane? Diesel bus repair. Tim, I was really excited about this idea. I'm trying to have a serious conversation with you about it, and all you can do is throw out idiotic suggestions. Why don't you just tell me to go to clown college? We'd never take you. <laughs> you're not funny enough, and your feet are too small. Does everybody know what time it is? Tool time! That's right. Bid for Tools is proud to present Tim the Tool Man Taylor. <laughs> Welcome to Drywall Week here on Tool Time. I am Tim, the Tool Man Taylor, and you all know my assistant, Plump Al Stiltskin. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm wearing these stilts to show our viewers a handy way to put up drywall ceiling panels. After that, Al's going to juggle and bounce a big rubber ball in his nose. <laughs> Well, we'll be working with a 10-foot ceiling today, so I have my stilts set to 36 inches. They're adjustable all the way to 48 inches. The stilts are your belt. <laughs> now, the advantage to using stilts when drywalling is they do give you height plus mobility. Now remember, each one of these panels weighs 60 pounds, so it's always a good idea to have a good helper. Or if you're in a bind, Tim. <laughs> now, if you don't happen to have a drywall lift like this here, you can hold up your panels with T-braces called dead men. Tim, show them what a dead man looks like. <laughs> well, this is all well and good if you have a traditional 10-foot ceiling. But let's say I want to do a remodel on the Sistine Chapel. Well, I don't think you'd be their first choice as contractor. <laughs> Stick with me here, okay? Guys, raise this up to the Sistine Chapel level. Now, let's say I want to smooth out those chubby cherubs with some wallboard. But the stilts only go up to 48 inches. That's why I use these. Heidi? My pneumatic drywall stilts. <laughs> pneumatic drywall stilts? Is there an echo in the building? <laughs> well, just how high can they go? Sky's the limit. Want to go up? Press this lever up. <laughs> Third floor lingerie. Ding, ding, ding. Boy, I'm very impressed, Tim. Well, since I want to reverse the process, and go down to the bargain basement where you picked up that shirt, press here. Hey, Randy. Hey, Dad. Great day today. Did dual time? Through the roof. <laughs> uh, how's Mom? Not too bad. She finally stopped saying, Boys, whatever you do, don't turn out to be like your father. Okay. Well, this will put her right over the top. Do flowers always win? Yep. Every time I get in trouble, I just call Lou the florist. Well, she gets mad at you so often, you must be on some kind of frequent flower program. I'm not only a member, 
I'm the club president. <laughs> Which can't guess I've got behind my back. Seven roses, 16 daisies, two tulips, and a couple of sprigs of baby's breath. <laughs> right on the money. That's amazing. Oh, it's not that unusual. This is the 29th time I've gotten that exact same bouquet of flowers. <laughs> Lou, the florist, calls it his Tim Taylor foot-in-the-mouth special. Don't knock it. Because of this bouquet, Lou has been able to send his son to a fabulous trade school. He's a turret lathe operator now. Well, at least you get flowers. Joe gives me a string of sausage and a side of Canadian bacon. See how lucky you are? Joe screws up, a pig dies. Good luck, Tim. You'll need it. Thanks for the basil. Tim, why did you give me these flowers? Was it so that I wouldn't be mad at you anymore? Yes. If you'd just given me the flowers to show me that you supported my idea of going back to school, I would have been so happy about that. That's amazing. That's exactly why I bought them. That's why I love our relationship. We know what each other's thinking. Then you know what I'm thinking right now. I think you're thinking that I wasted uh, twenty-seven ninety-five. Hey Wilson, want some flowers? Why, well, Tim? What a neighborly gesture! It'll cost you thirty-five bucks. <laughs> Well, you know, if I'm not mistaken, Tim, that looks like the twenty-seven ninety-five Tim Taylor foot in your mouth special. Yeah. Tried to use him to say I'm sorry to Jill. She didn't want him. She wants to go back to school and is mad because she doesn't think I'm being very supportive. Well, do you feel that you are? Well, I guess that depends on your definition of supportive. I told her it was a stupid idea, and she probably couldn't even get into clown college. <laughs> Well, Tim, I don't think that's anyone's definition of supportive. Yeah, going back to school, is, she, it's really a big deal to her. I couldn't wait to get out of college. And to be honest, the college couldn't wait to get me out of there. <laughs> well, wasn't the college where you met Jill? Yeah, it wasn't easy. I was kind of a motorhead, and she hung out with all the intellectuals. You know the type. Spend their days thinking about the meaning of life, and they could be figuring out how to drink a keg of beer without using their hands. <laughs> Not looking forward to her getting back in a group of eggheads again. People are always trying to prove how smart they are by talking over your head and using big words. So, Tim, you're worried about Jill returning to the world of academia. It was a lot of work to get her interested in me in the first place in college, you know? And maybe she goes back and hangs out with those intellectual types. Maybe she, maybe she won't find me that interesting again. Tim, just because Jill grows doesn't mean that she's going to grow apart from you. No, it does Heck. Who am I talking about? Why would she trade me in for a new model when she got a V8 like me sitting in the garage at home? <laughs> you are a classic. Yeah. Joe, don't expect me to help you with your homework. What? Well, you go back to study psychology. Wait, you're okay with that? If your dream is to work with nuts, you should go back to the world of macadamia. <laughs> if you want to go back and get your master's, I totally support it. You really mean that? Absolutely. Oh, thank you. I'll take these now. <laughs> now, you realize with me studying and being in school that things are going to change a little bit around here. There's adjustments to be made on the house. I'll make them. <laughs> nah, forget about the adjustments. Just uh, be supportive. I'm so excited about going back to school. I get to buy a new three-ring binder and knee socks. You know, I never told you this, but when we were in school, I always thought you were out of my league. I what? <laughs> and I guess I was worried that you'd find a new group of Brainiacs to hang out with. Well, maybe you come home to me, I'll be kind of boring. <laughs> well, one thing about coming home to you, Tim, it is never boring. 
Let me ask you a question. Have you ever wished that you'd married somebody as smart as you? You think I'm smarter than you? Yeah. Well, that just shows how smart you are. <laughs> you didn't answer the question. Do I ever wish that I married somebody else? Why would I want to marry anybody else? You're funny. You're sexy. Creative. You take chances. And you're definitely not afraid to be wrong. <laughs> I'm perfectly happy being married to a man who thinks that PBS is something that women get once a month. <laughs> What I said was, once a month is enough for PBS. And way too much for the other thing. You never guess what I got in the box. Oh, the hood ornament. No, had to miss a call. Deke put me at the bottom of the list. Glad you weren't waiting for a lever. <laughs> What's this up here? First day at school. Green ring binder with your college sweetheart on it. <laughs> Stop laughing. Otherwise, we won't give you a Tim Taylor more power pencil sharpener. Huh? Ooh. Try it out. See this. And my best piece your remote control lunchbox. Press this. <laughs> to the bargain basement where we buy, buy that little shirt. Just press this button here. <laughs> I'm wearing these stilts to show our viewers a handy way to install ceiling panels. And after that, just for the kids, Al's gonna juggle a ball in his nose and sing Kumbaya. <laughs> <laughs>